Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins. And we're going inside the Patriots playbook with a look at Sunday's playoff opponent, the Houston Texans, Jermaine. And this is a play from the end of the first quarter, the regular season matchup against the Texans. It was already 14 to nothing. Texans had the ball at their own 40-yard line. And, you know, what, what I want to do here is, is let's look at why the Patriots were so successful against the Texans the first time around. And, and then we'll talk about how the Texans might adjust mm -hmm. or what they might try to do better to be better on the scoreboard the second time around. Yeah, well, what you got here is a very simple play that they like to play, whether you want to call it an outside zone, whether you want, you, you want to call it a tight zone run. What they're going to do, they start all Owen Daniels on the line of scrimmage, then they back him off, and then they send him in return motion. They send him over, and then they bring him in a position where he now can come off block, whether that's seal the edge or climb to the next level. And they like to run. They got a lead block in Casey right there, and then here's Arian Foster, and they give him the position of, once this, this offensive tackle, he's trying to reach um, Chandler Jones here. If he can reach him, maybe they get on the edge. But if, say, Chandler Jones plays it wide, now it becomes a kickout block, and now we turn everything up inside. But what the Patriots do a good job of is, is a key, two key plays on this, two key players on this specific play that really make this play. You got uh, Hightower right here and Mayo. And what Hightower does a good job of, he sees the return motion. As soon as Owen Daniels gets right here, you got this outside, you got this tackle who now reaches for that defensive end and he hits it screaming downfield and he hits the fullback practically in the backfield blows him up so now what happens with Arian Foster when he gets the ball he's getting blown up out here so he can't get to the outside he has to now put his foot in the ground and cut it up but what happens is on the return motion you're going to see Mayo he comes down on the line of scrimmage and he now protects the backside for a bootleg or he protects that backside for that cutback so Aaron Foster really has nowhere to go because of the play of Hightower and Gerard Mayo on this play. Okay, now going into this matchup, the Texans are watching this film saying, you know, a lot of times the mm -hmm. Patriots almost knew what we were doing. Um, how much do they change things up? If I'm them, what I want to do, and if you want to run the football, you get in that formation where you have here, you send Owen Daniels in motion on first down, you got Aaron Foster, guess what? I'm running bootlegs, okay? I'm trying to put pressure on them. We're running that on first down, maybe run him on a little route there, and that's what I want to do. I want to throw the football. Let them think run. If we can get out there, maybe we can get out there, get the block, seal the edge. Now you got Schaub. We got guys that we can hit, take chances on throw the football. That's how you want to try to beat the Patriots. You don't want to just keep running, running, running into a brick wall because it's going to get you nowhere. And if you really got any guts, and I don't know if Kubiak does it, empty the backfield. Put, put Shaw back here in shotgun. Let him go do his thing back here in shotgun. Put your wide receivers here and just say, you know what? We're going to go out. We're going to throw the football, see if you can cover our guys. We got some pretty decent wide receivers. But do they have confidence in, in this guy right here? No, because that's because they run the football. And when they have a quarterback that they, you know they don't have confidence in, it's because they run, run, and play action. They tell them, we're going to put you in a position where you're going to keep you safe. If it's mm -hmm. not there, get it, throw it out of bounds. Give them one, two reads, that very simple. You get him back in shotgun, and now he has to read the whole field. Sort of reminds me of Mark Sanchez, the last <laughs> page, the last. Or uh, Flacco. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. All right. Great stuff, Jermaine. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Inside the Playbook. We'll be back with a look at the Patriots offense tomorrow.